Joining me now is Member of the Nationals and Minister for Mental Health, Bronnie Taylor. Good to see you. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Did it come as a shock to you? Look, um, obviously I'm very close to John. He's a very good friend of mine and, um, you know, he's been discussing how he's felt with me for quite some time. But it's always a shock, isn't it? And it's always a shock when you... You know, when a colleague who is such a dear friend and, you know, someone that we've, you know, worked this seat together in Monero for a long time decides to go. But, you know, today is the day that he decided to do that. I, I respect that and I, I want what's best for him. He's a he's a dear friend. He's a good man and he's been an incredible leader of the New South Wales National Party. So it's a sad day for the Monero and that's certainly what I'm hearing from everyone contact me, contacting me and talking to me about that because... He's been a real warrior for, for this area and for this seat and he loves where he lives, as do I, and um, he's really given his heart and soul to, to the Monero and to the National Party. Well, in politics, the adage comes to mind, you never waste a crisis, and this is a bit of a crisis in uh, New South Wales. So what does this mean for you? Do you want to be leader? Do you want to be deputy leader? Are you considering moving from the upper house? Look, I disagree. It's not a crisis at all. There's really good people in our team and really good people in the coalition. And I think that it, there's exciting times ahead. I mean, we're all we're all very sad to have seen Gladys go and we're all very sad in the National Party to see John go. But there are good people. There are strong people. And there are people in the New South Wales National Party who you know, put their hand up for public life because they love where they live, they're passionate about it and, and as Nats, we represent rural and regional New South Wales. Mm. So, look, it's not about me today. It's about John Barillaro and it's about really celebrating the leadership that he's gone and, and what he's done here in Monero. So, for me, I'll, you know, I just want to talk about him. I want to, I want to rejoice in the time that he's had. I have loved working with him. We have, we have toiled this seat and it's been an incredible time. And I think for everyone else that, you know, we all need to take stock. That's something that the New South Wales National Party will decide on its leadership team. The party itself will decide on its candidate for the seat of Monero. We are very much a grassroots party. We very much go through grassroots pre-selections mm. to see that. So that's a matter for them. Ha has the membership in Monero been extremely good to me? Absolutely. And, and I respect them as much as I believe they respect me. I I love where I sit. I love my job as the New South Wales Minister for Mental Health, Regional Youth and Women. I spent 20 years as a registered nurse. So to come into Parliament and be able to bring my level of expertise and my experience has been such a privilege. But today is about John and today was his decision and the National Party will decide the future leadership of the yeah, party. Indeed. And John Barillaro, i got to say, this morning when he held that media conference, did look really comfortable in his decision. He looked like now was uh, ready for him and he certainly said as much. You were uh, mentioned in his media conference and he said that if you wanted to uh, move and, and replace him in that seat, he thought that was, that was a pretty good idea. So does that give you some heart? Oh, look, but I, I knew that. I know that because I know John. And, you know, there's a lot of ego in politics, right? And, yes, you know, this is. is a man, yeah, an enormous amount. And this is a man that has worked with me as a member of the upper house to really consolidate this seat. When John won and he got that incredible margin last time of 12%, you know, he pulled me up there with his family during the press conference because he genuinely you know, embraced my value in running this yeah. together. And anyone here in Monero that you talk to, we're a bit of a twin team. So I know that if that's something that I wanted to do, that, that he would back me in. Okay, Bronnie, that's the well, sort let's of get to is. it. So where are you at at the moment? I know you don't want this uh, day to move on. You want it to all be about John, but you wouldn't rule yourself out of being leader or deputy at this point, would you? Look, I sit in the upper house, so the option for me to be leader is not there. The option for me to run as deputy leader would be. But, you know, I'm, I'm really firm and I'm very strong. And today is about John. And what, what happens beyond that with the seat of Monero, with the leadership team, is a matter for my colleagues. I owe them that respect to discuss yeah. that with them but before I discuss that you? publicly. Yeah, I, I, I fully appreciate that, uh, Bronnie, absolutely. But what is a matter for you is whether you do move, move houses. 
Yeah, that's right. Look, that you know, you never rule anything out, do you? You know, if someone had said to me all those years ago when I was a cancer nurse in Cooma, do you want to run for politics? I laughed, right? But it was my husband that mm. said to me, what a great opportunity, do this. Of course, you don't rule anything out. But I think it's important to be respectful and I think it's important to honour the leader that we have. That's what we mm. do in the National Party. And again, you know, I, I'm very respectful of my colleagues within the party room. There are many that are very good friends. And if that's a discussion I have moving forward, it's a discussion that I will have with them first. Well, at least you wouldn't physically have to move house. You just have to move <sighs> houses in Parliament. So you do live in the electorate. But before I let you go, what do you think Dom Perrottet will mean as leader for the regions? I think Dom will be terrific. I have so much respect and admiration for him and I think he's smart, I think he cares, I think he listens, which is really important. I know myself when I've been negotiating things in the mental health space, which has taken you know, a much higher profile in this term of government, that he's always willing to listen and he always cares and he puts families first, which I think is really important. But look, I think he's going to be tough, I think he's strong, but I think he's going to be a wonderful Premier and I I'm absolutely delighted for him and I'm really looking forward to working with him. Okay, Bronnie Taylor, thanks so much for joining us uh, this morning. Zoom yeah. is the New World Order. We'll be doing a lot more of that. You are the uh, Minister for Mental Health so, and we should talk about that more as well, as we do. But we'll leave it there and we'll speak to you soon. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Have a great day. Bronnie Taylor there, who was uh, not ruling out a deputy or leader. There we have it.